In addition to the rectangular and oval masking brushes, ZBrush 4 also offers two other types. These are the lasso and the curve masking brushes. The lasso brush should be familiar to most users of ZBrush. This allows you to draw freeform selections in the surface. In this case I have symmetry enabled and I'm just drawing a mask out using lasso. Holding the Alt and Control key together allows me to erase parts of the mask. Now I'm using the Inflate Deformer to inflate the unmasked parts of the surface. ZBrush 4 introduces the Curve Stroke Type, which is entirely new. When I'm using the curve to mask, you'll see that one side of the line is shaded. This is indicating which side of the curve will become masked. If I hold the Alt key, the curve turns bright white, and you can see that I'm unmasking. But once again, it's the shaded side of the curve that indicates where the masking or the unmasking will occur. If I drag down from the top, you'll see that the shaded side is on the right side of the curve, so everything on that side will become masked. If I want to mask the left side, I'll simply start from the bottom and drag upwards. Now to actually create a curve, you just drag in the surface and tap the Alt key where you want to add a point. If you'd like to add a sharp corner, just double tap the Alt key. So I'm drawing out a curve, and once again, it's the shaded side of the curve that will become masked. Now this allows me to create very precise shapes. I'm drawing a second curve here to follow the contours of the first curve. Once again, double tapping the Alt key wherever I want to create a sharp corner in the curve. And when I'm finished, I'll hold the Alt key, you'll see the curve turn white, and then I'll let go, and that part of the mask will be erased. If I want to reposition the masking curve after I've drawn it, I'll just hold the space bar and then drag on the surface, and then I can position the curve anywhere I want. This allows for even more precision as to where I want to place the masks on my surface. Here you can see Geert Mellis using this technique in combination with the curve clipping brush to make details in the front part of his mask. I'm adding to my design just by creating some circular masks on the surface. It's not too hard to come up with something very creative in a very short amount of time. Once I have my mask, I can use various techniques. I can invert the mask and do a negative inflate or a positive inflate to push out those parts of the surface. Another classic technique is to use a mesh extraction. So I've used the masking curve and the circular masking uh, brushes to create a complex design in this rounded cube. And now by pressing the extract button, I can create a mesh from that mask design on the surface. Using this technique, you can come up with some very complex three-dimensional designs.